my name is Terry Sproul and I want to welcome you to my studio. Tonight is our Tuesday night live class, so if you are watching this on YouTube at a later day, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. And if you're thinking about it also, think about coming by on Tuesday night and um, watching me live and joining in with all the fun. I'm trying out a new headset tonight, so hopefully the volume is um, real well and we got a really good thing going here. I'm going to... Our air traffic 475, you're cleared for landing. 475, cleared for landing. Yes, and that voice, that, that pain mm. in the ass voice below, that's Mr. Joseph. He's here to take care of all the um, links for us tonight. So if you have a question, make sure you put it in caps. And I'm going to go ahead and switch. He's been teasing me that I look like an air traffic control person all day. I am going to switch cameras and we're going to get going. <laughs> so that we can get this page done. Okay. Using my new journal again tonight. I'm so excited about my new journal. And I actually made myself another one just the other day. This one's going to, so I'm going to have multiple journals going. And I'm excited tonight because I finally got my stamps in the mail. So I'm going to be using them tonight. I'm going to start off though with um, some gesso and a template. This particular one is from the Crafters Workshop. And I didn't realize that just a little while ago, Joe. So I probably didn't give you that link. Because um, I didn't know who's. Um, stencil it actually was to be honest till I really looked on it so what I'm doing is I'm putting gesso on just a couple spots on my page through the stencil and I am using a makeup sponge that just puts a nice light coat on and it allows you to get through the stencil really well and what this is going to do is act as a resist for me so I'm just going to put it in a few spots around my page. Harry, what what does it say the name of the stencil right on the border of that? It and I can give folks the link. Doesn't because I actually looked for that earlier and all I found out that it was the Crafters Workshop by doing that, but there is no there is nothing. But it's I got know. a this has the Crafters Workshop down there on the bottom. Wait a minute. Oh, it's There's that something. big arched window, I think. Yeah. So I tried to look to see if I could find a title on that, and I couldn't. But no worries, really Flight 785. We'll, the tower will look for that. You're, you're cleared to fly now. Thank you, Tower. I appreciate that. But it really, any template would do the same technique. You know, this is just a technique on how to uh, get a resist with gesso. So I'm just putting it in a few spots, and I think that's good. I think I'm happy with that. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Dry those real quick. And they're going to dry really easily because they're not that much ink or that much paint. Actually, I should say that correctly. Gesso. I actually put gesso down. Okay, now I want to use uh, dilutions. And whenever I use dilutions, I always spray. Oh, let me take that off. Hold on, I forgot to take that down. That's my logo down there, my blog right there. So check that out. I have that on tomorrow. I'll have all the uh, links for today's show also. Whenever I use dilutions, I always spray my um, page first. So it gets the um, inks moving. I am going to use fresh lime. I'm also going to use something turquoise. I think it's called vivid turquoise. Oh, we're on a Caribbean flight, I see. We are. We're going to. We're but going to the English. islands, man. We're going to the island. <laughs> That's never Don't a bad worry. Thing. Be happy. Um, and this is funky fuchsia. And again, I'm going to get wet so I can get this start moving, get that ink moving and around my page. And you can see it already resisting where I put the uh, gesso. I'm going to grab a paper towel and just dab off the excess there. Now, what's really cool about... Um, if you wanted your color a little darker at this point, you could actually come in and do a second spray. 
it's really up to you at this point. I am going to go a little darker on that bottom. Diane Reevely calls that kitchen roll. And kitchen for the, every roll. time I took a class with her, she said it about 10 times. Terry and I thought, what the heck? It's a kitchen, kitchen roll. roll. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> yes, paper towels. You know, it's funny. I, I'm, my former life, I was an apartment manager, and we had a lot of um, people from other countries that would stay at this particular complex I lived at. And one of them came in one day and asked me for aluminum. I'm like looking at him going, what the heck is aluminum? <laughs> it took me forever to figure out what that was. It's aluminum. <laughs> I did not know God, that. You would think those English blokes invented the language. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, what's aluminum? <laughs> Finally, I figured it out. So I'm just doing a real quick dry. You can see why all the resist that I got on the page. I just love that. Okay. My next idea is I'm going to take, this is a young lady that I drew. And I want to use her on my page today. And I, yes, I could draw her again. But I'm just going to trace her because I wanted to talk to, um, remind you guys about this. This is that um, Sally's, or did I bring the paper? box down here. Hold on. Let me grab the box for you. There it is. This is it. This is a transfer paper. I've used it with you guys before. I actually buy it at Dick Blix. But so what you can do is if you can't draw and you want to have a pretty face on your page, you can use this transfer paper to put her on there. I'm just going to do her face. I don't actually want her hand. And like I said, I did draw this, so I really could do it again. But I don't have to. <laughs> and I'm even tracing her upside down. Because we all know I definitely couldn't draw her upside down. You mean you would be upside down or it would be upside down? I think, I, got uh, lost. <laughs> I think it would be upside down. I might be upside down. You never know. Depends on the day. Now, a trick also when you are tracing is make sure you leave a section down and then you can lift it to see if you've missed something. So, if you, you know, that way, because sometimes it's hard to see where you might have uh, traced. Looks like the only thing I'm missing is her eye, but that's okay. I can definitely do that afterwards because I'm going to paint anyways. And I've got a tracing tip for you. Okay. Don't trace with the same color that the picture is on the paper. That's a very good tip, which I didn't do. <laughs> see, there I see. I had value tonight. <laughs> you did add value. Okay, I'm going to grab a paintbrush, and I'm, well, actually, first I want to take a pen and do some of the lines back in. I'm not going to do them all because I'm going to actually paint her. So I just want to pull some of these lines in. just to get an outline of where her face is. <clears throat> then I'm going to use uh, my favorite color for face is Titan Buff. This one is by Deco Art, but really um, Golden's got one that also works very well. It's called Titan Buff. It's not their white. It's actually kind of a creamy color. So I'm real quickly going to <clears throat> put in her neck and her face a little bit here and then I'm going to come back and do more of it as we work along here. So yes, I am excited because I finally got my Make-A-Wish stamps. <laughs> I was so jealous. Some of you guys who are in my group called All Things Terry Sprout on Facebook actually got them before I did. I was like, I'm so jealous.
I've been waiting for these stamps forever. And I'm really excited because I want to show you guys how I designed these stamps because you wouldn't just know it by getting them. Okay, I'm going to come back and do more of her face in a minute, but I'm just going to let that part dry. Okay, this is my new set of stamps from Sin City Stamps, and it's called, um, it's called Wish. And it's got a lot of, I love dandelions. So it's got dandelions in it. And I'm going to start with stamping those. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, real quickly, I want to do a little bit of background, a little more background. This is um, a music stamp that's also from Sin City. And again, I'm just inking kind of the center. And I just want to get a little bit of a texture in the background. So I'm inking just a little bit of it up, and then I'm going to stamp it multiple times. And it's just giving me texture. I'm not even looking for anything else. See that? So real, real simple. Okay, now I'm going to grab Stays On in green. And my plate for my new stamps and I'm going to start off using just some basic um, there's multiple different dandelions in the set this one is just you know a basic dandelion it has no of the little I don't know what those are called the seeds for lack of a better word coming off this one's like a full full dandelion I guess that's how I could put it I'm just going to put some dandelions along the bottom here. I'm leaving room right here because I actually am going to have her blowing on one of them is my idea. So I'm just real quickly going across my sheet with... My dandelion. Make sure you always go off your sheet also. Off your page, I should say. But you know what I'm saying. Off your design. Okay, another one. Okay, that looks good. Okay, now I'm going to grab this one. See, this one has the little uh, seeds <laughs> floating away. So I'm going to grab that one next. And I'm going to put that one close by her mouth because I want it to look like she's blowing on this. She's blowing away the seeds or the wishes, actually. I call them wishes. Okay. Now, also in my, in that same set, you're going to come across a lot of little words. Really, really tiny little words. There's also the little um, C, C pods. So you got the individual C pods. So I'm going to keep that out. And I'm going to start finding these little words. And I'm, <laughs> And you're going to, when you first see these, you're going to say, what did you, were you thinking, Terry? These words are so tiny. Once I tell you what I was thinking, you're going to love me. <laughs> okay, so I got all these little words. I'm going to keep my butterflies because I'm going to use those in a minute. I'm also going to use that in a minute, so I'm going to put that to the side. Okay. Okay. Another little butterfly. Okay, I got these all these little words. And what the words are meant to do, and I'm going to grab a piece of paper for myself, just because 
the words are so tiny, it's actually hard to see which way is up and which way is down. So I always stamp them twice. I'll stamp them on my little piece of paper over here to see that that is up. Yes. And what these words are supposed to do is you're supposed to add them as part of the dandelion. So it looks like you're blowing these words away also. See, that was my idea. Isn't that a cute idea? So you, actually that one I don't want to use because it's not in cursive. So that was my idea. So I'm adding all these little words in between my dandelions. And I'm actually going to add a few more of the um, dandelions also. Um, actually, there's a coupon also. If you use the coupon code TUESDAY over at Sin City and it's only good for today, you can get 50% off of your um, stamps. So if you bought this particular set, you bought the whole set, it would be with Kling, it would be $25. So half of that would be what, $12.50? I think there is a minimum though. So you can get like Danielle stamps while you're over there or my zipper stamps. I got a new line of zipper stamps too that I have the coolest idea to use for the zippers. Making sure I'm going the right way. <laughs> so you see the idea of how the words are um, coming off that? I know it's a little hard to see so let me get little closer here for you show you that see the words floating away with the uh, seeds so that was my idea when I designed these stamps even though that was a really small little words but that was I thought was a cute idea this particular stamp is also one from Sin City, but it's not from that same set of stamps. Um, this is actually from the, um, I think it's called Fairy Tales, which is also one of my sets of stamps. And it's part of, with all those, uh, it has all the fairies on it. It's a whole plate of stamps with a bunch of fairies on it, little cute fairies. And this particular flower is also on that same set of stamps. So I'm putting those across the top here. Like they're floating down the side. Put one more. This one I'm going to have kind of half on, half off. Perfect. Just what I wanted it to do. Love it when I when I thing actually happens the way you want it to. Okay, so you see that? Isn't that looking cute? I know, cute idea. Thank you, Daniel. I like the idea. Have to admit, I did like that idea. I think I can put a few more dandelions in, so I'm going to do that real quick while I have my ink pad out. Oh, didn't take the backing off this one yet. So yes, if you want to go over and use that coupon code for Tuesday, I think there is a minimum order. Um, I think it's $25 for US. But don't hold me to any of that, guys. I did put the coupon code over on my um, page over on Facebook in my group, All Things Terry Sproul. Okay, perfect. Okay, time to paint. Oh, actually, I want to get... Let's finish her up some. 
since we did get her, I just want to put one more coat of Titan Buff on. Because it does, um, it'll take a second coat a lot better. And it'll really bring the, bring it more to a creamy white instead of it being so blue from the, because um, it's pulling up the color from the um, dilutions. Because as we know, because I've taught you guys this, dilutions never truly dry. If you add water to them or any type of liquid on top, they will reactivate. And that includes paint. So even though, I, that's why I'm going in with the second coat because now it's going to be less blue-green than it was earlier. Okay, much better. And I'm going to do her hair. I'm going to use Silk's Acrylic Glaze. I like to use the Silk's because they are translucent and that allows me to be able to paint and still see the lines that are below. That's really, really nice when it comes to stamps. Um, so I really, really like to do it with stamps, a stamped image. And this particular color I'm using is called Spiced Pumpkin. And I like too that um, this particular brush that I'm using, I don't know why, but it gives really cool brush strokes. It almost makes it look like her hair is flowing with the brush strokes like they're individual hairs I don't know why this particular brush does that but I like it and I got it at Michael's it's one of the silver if you go into um, the art department in um, Michael's they have a whole set that has silver um, handles on them I don't they're the Royal Lang nickel Lang nickel I could be saying that wrong brand but you can get them at Michael's and if you use your 40% off coupon they're not that expensive so real quickly just putting her hair in Perfect. See how it gave it, it looks like strokes. I love that. I don't know why that particular brush does that for me, but I like that. Okay. Um, also on that same set of stamps, the Wish set, there is a bunch of butterflies on there. So I'm going to use some of them. And I'm just using um, plain old Indian ink. Actually, no. I've got some Versa. Versa fine out here, so I'm going to use some of that. This is Imperial Purple. Let's use Imperial Purple. Wow, that's a juicy ink, ink pad. My husband's, I don't know if you guys can hear him, probably not because I have the um, speaker on, or my headset on, but... He's laughing his head off in the other room. I don't know what he's watching. <laughs> but he's he's really enjoying himself. <laughs> okay. Love that butterfly. Uh, let's see what other color I got out here. Oh, I got a blue. Let's see. Well, that might be too light. Maybe not. Let's try it. If not, we'll go back in on black. Oh, no, that worked. That worked just fine. It looks so light on the cover, I thought maybe possibly it wasn't going to work for me. 
<laughs> Terry, we have a question from Stephanie. She says she's never done mixed media before, but she's thinking about buying the fairy collection. I posted a link to it to create an art journal page. What other stamp collection do you think goes well with the fairy stamp collection? I'm not going to say particularly the fairy stamp collection, but I would definitely look at that art journal set because that's going to give you a really good um, backgrounds. Um, and that should be on page um, one or two, Joe, of the website under my name. Um, but the art, I think it's Art Journal 1 and Art Journal 2 would be a really good set to start with because it's going to give you some really fun back, um, backgrounds to give you that texture that you're going to get when you do the layering. Remember earlier when I stamped the, um, the, the music stamp, that big stamp like that? They've got that particular set has a lot of um, uh, images in that you can do a lot with. Oh, I just use my brush backwards. I am using silks. Um, this one is Caribbean Mist because it's still on my desk from last week. And I'm going to color in my stamps images of the butterflies and again what's nice about the silks is because they are um, a glaze you're going to be able to still see the stamped image through it it's not going because they're translucent if you want that same image and you same idea and you do not have silks yet you can use um, any type of uh, ac uh, acrylic paint that you might have at home just add a glazing liquid to your paint and that will give you that same look also you can buy certain paints that are translucent you just have to read them to see if they are or not and terry we have a question from susan whose stamp set at sin city has the couple silhouette that's actually just, it's not anybody's particulars, it's just Sin City. Sin City actually does have their own line. And then um, me, Danielle, who's in the room, I'm going to be using her set real soon too, um, has her own line. And um, Pam Bray has her own line of stamps also over at Sin City. But the rest of them are actually just Sin Cities. But all of them are on sale if you use that, that code. Um, <clears throat> Tuesday, today only. Again, I'm using the silks. I'm using Wisteria. Oh, it's not going to get, bl it's blurry. Sorry about that. But trust me, Wisteria. And I'm going to do these pretty flowers up here. These, this one, that flower is from the fairy set. Um, actually, I think it's called um, Once Upon a Time, or no, uh, Fairy Tales. Fairy Tales, right? That was called God. I should know this. How embarrassing! And actually, this color is blending into the color it is behind it. Fairy tales. And I posted a link to it. Thank you. That color is fading into the color behind it way too much. So I'm going to change colors. Even though the planes wouldn't fly without you know the tower, and nobody ever realizes the tower is even there. But oh, we the love the tower. There. The tower rocks. Okay, I grab Snapdragon instead because this is just too purple on top of purple. So I'm going to go in with Snapdragon and see if I can pull this out a little more. There we go. Snapdragon is one of the darker colors that um, silks have. But it's still translucent enough. But also, just an FYI, if you buy these paints and you don't want every particular image to be translucent, if you put layer on top of layer, you will get it to be more opaque. So you can get these paints to go opaque for you. It's just the first layer that usually is translucent. I think I want to pull another color in. Sky blue. Oh, look how pretty that color is. See, look at that color. And yes, I'm I'm one that does mix my paints. I know it's bad, so do as I do, not as I say. 
uh, does, if it scares you, you know, you can clean out your brush in between. But I'm going right in with a purple brush right into the blue cap and putting another layer of color on here. The other thing that I really love about these um, silks is they really do blend together nicely. So this purple, the Snapdragon and the um, sky blue here are just blending so beautifully. I mean, I hope you can see how pretty that is. I will give you guys a close up here as soon as I get a few more of these painted. So I'm just doing the tips of these flowers down here in the um, sky blue and then I'm going to go back in with the snapdragon. Love how pretty this is. <laughs> okay. Again, I'm going in with the purple. I'm not contaminating my paint too badly. If it does freak you out, you know, you can really put a piece on, uh, a little bit of this color onto the, uh, your Teflon sheet. And that way you don't have the same problem. If that scares you, obviously doesn't scare me. Be brave. Love how this purple and this blue blend together. Oh my God, they're so pretty. Oh, oh, love, 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 love. Okay, I'm going to give you guys a close-up of that here. Oh, my lid's on here. You're welcome, Stephanie. Um, let's see if I can pull this up. See how those blended so pretty? But yet you can still see the stamp underneath. And you can always go in. If you don't like how it blended out, you can take a little water. And that will really help blend your colors together. So just having just a tiny bit of water on your brush and you don't need a lot. You're going to pull that color right up and get all kinds of prettiness. Okay, I need a green. I am going to actually wash my, not wash my brush out, but give a little bit of a cleaning before I put the green on. This is Kiwi. And honestly, I just picked up the top green that was on the top of my silk pile. I have a whole pile of silks. Because yes, I do own every color. I just buy them when they're on sale. Also, if you guys, if you know a, a way that you could get these for um, cheap, we do a contest, or they do a contest on their... Facebook page every 15th and 30th of the month and it's a treasure hunt or a scavenger hunt is what they actually call it. So you would go over to their Facebook page and it's color art is the Facebook page on the 15th and the 30th of every month and play the um, the game and they give a con um, they give prizes out and they give really good prizes so I'm just taking a pen, green pen. This is a pit pen, and I'm just doing the stems. So they have some color also. Oh. 
Okay. Now I also want to come back and do her face. Let's see if that's all dry. It is dry. I am going to turn this around just to do her face because I, I do need to be able to draw her eye in. So I'm going to go towards me real quickly. Now when you do um, an eye from the side, as you see, it's kind of a triangle. So it's basically that. Let me do that in a big fat pen so you see that. So it's basically that, okay? And then you're just taking it and curving the eye around. So now you have an eye. And then you want to get the whole eyeball in there. So there's the eyeball. And then you just want to darken this part up here because that's where the iris is. And then you can go in and put a couple eyelashes. And this works out a lot prettier with a smaller pen. So that's really as easy, as quick as an eye is. It's really not a hard um, thing to master a eye for. So again, it's kind of a V and then there's a circle. And then you're going to cover in her eyebrow or her eye. Put a few eyelashes. Her pupil is what I'm trying to say. A few eyelashes. Give her a eyebrow. Want to bring the nose in a little more here. So I'm going back and just grabbing my details for her face. Lips, I always um, tell people they're basically a, a sideways um, heart. So if you can draw a heart, you can draw lips. Because if you actually look at the lips, see the heart? See it? It's a heart. So you can really you can do this. I'm going to grab that same red that I had out for her hair. I'm going to do her lips. Oh, I've got a trivial question for folks. When you mention that color red, anybody know what movie the line comes from where somebody has their nails painted and they say to paint them in jungle red? Oh, I don't know this one. I'm just cleaning up my details around her face that um, from doing it upside down I didn't get as well as I would prefer it to be. I don't know that answer Joe. I have no idea. <laughs> Does somebody in the room know the answer? Just cleaning up just a few things. I'm going to go in after this dries too and put some lines in her hair. Some black lines. Okay. Turn this back around towards you guys. I want to do, uh, there's, uh, a what are they called? Steamens? Steamen? Is that, did I pronounce that correctly, Joe? I know you know what a steamen is. I think it's the stamen. Stamen? On the flower, I think it's a stamen. Stamen, okay. Okay, so correct I think, stamen, I think flowers have stamens and pistols, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay. I'm right well, now focused on my movie quote, okay? Can we keep the topic in here? <laughs> it's always well, about you. It is always about me. You know that, right? I'm coloring that in. So nobody's posted even. I can't tell if the chat room's kept. Oh, Daniela says, no, I have no idea. Oh, Daniela, if I can stump you, <laughs> I have achieved my goal. I know, because she usually gets them. She's good at that. She's good at that trivia stuff. Susan says she can't find a plate with the couple, found just the couple. I think the couple might not be available on a plate. Is that possible? The couple. The couple silhouette stamp from Sin City. You know, Susan just dropped Sin City a note. Send him an email and say, hey, help me. Mm -hmm. They're very, very great. Very, very good to work with. Yes, very good idea. And we'll, we'll try to find it for you later. Okay, so if I gave you a hint, 
and said that this movie was made in 1939. Oh, wow. Actually, September 1st, 1939. I'll give you another hint. It had Norma Shearer, Joan Crawford, and Rosalind Russell in it. Oh. Wow. Oh. I am opening another silk, and this one is called Wine and Roses. It's a really dark purple, and I'm going to do this butterfly right here. And the reason I wanted to grab this purple, too, is because of the yellow background that's right there. The purple is going to really pop because, as I've taught you guys before, purple is directly across the way from yellow on the color wheel. So whenever that happens, they are called contrast color complementary colors excuse me and they complement each other now the one bad thing though that I need to be careful of here is they will also produce brown so if I pull that yellow up too much with this purple it could produce an actual brown so it probably will change the color of my of my uh, paint just a little bit Again, cleaning off my brush, and I'm just going in with different color silks as I pick them up off my desk and just painting in my flower, my butterflies. So I'm, Barbara wants that quote again. In this film, somebody is asked to pick out a nail polish color, and she says a sentence, and at the end of the sentence, she says, jungle red. Jungle red. Well, it ain't so some, when you give up, when at the end of the show, I'll give you the answer. It ain't some like it hot. I know that much. Barbara's thinking about it. <laughs> okay. Oh, my pretty butterflies all over the place. Oh, I love them, love them, love them. Okay. I have multiple quotes in here. But I'm going to use my favorite one of the whole set. And Stephanie got it. She said, my mama says maybe the movie, the women. Stephanie, you are right. Mary Haynes says this in the movie. And she tells her, she tells her mother who she's sitting with. I've had two years to grow claws, mother. Jungle red. <laughs> and so that's when she's asked to pick out a color. And that's what she chooses. So Stephanie, your mother is the winner of our little tri informal trivia contest. How cool is that? Very cool. I absolutely love this quote. This is my quote that I made with this particular set of stamps. And it says, some see a weed, but I see a wish. So there's my quote. Love that quote. Yay, I'm glad somebody won. That's so cool. Okay, now I'm going to real quickly grab some um, Distress Stickles. And I have, this is basically the same thing as Stickles, but they're just in glitter because I want to do my, my dandelions. And you always want to do Stickles absolutely last because they take forever to dry for an FYI like probably seriously a, almost a day probably my only complaint about them I like the effect they give I don't like the fact that they take forever to now drive. Stephanie who whose mom actually won we should send her mom a little gift but Stephanie said she's new to mixed media so I told her if she sends me her address I'll send her a little prize Boy, someone new to mixed media, just think of all the goodies I could de-stash and send this person. I know. Because <laughs> there's, I mean, somebody who's new to it. Um, and there's some, if you go onto my YouTube channel, I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribe. But there are some really good videos in there. There's one that's all about mediums, like um, gel medium and um, gesso and all of those things that are very confusing so that's a really good video to watch if you have any questions and you're if you're not already in my group called all things terry sprout on facebook join that because i'm really good at answering questions about um, materials as you find them 
Now, do you cover the Long Island medium too? Because I've seen her on TV. <laughs> I don't know. She's she's way above me. She's much more talented than I am. She knew you were going to say that, actually. She wrote it on her Facebook page. <laughs> of course she did. <laughs> Which then, why did that psychic in Florida get arrested? Didn't she know it was coming? What was her name? I know. Miss, what was it? Miss Clara? Miss? Yeah, Miss something Cora? like that. I think it was Miss Clara. I no, I think Miss Clara is the character from Bewitched. Oh, that's Aunt Clara. Oh, bother. Aunt Clara. Oh, bother. <laughs> she's so funny I loved her I don't know why but I've been watching all those old shows lately I've been watching Bewitched and um, I Dream a Genie and Gilligan's Island they've all been on lately so I'm just actually I just found a webpage within the last week that was 10 little known secrets about Gilligan's Island and you know where they got the name Gilligan's Island where they just randomly opened up a phone book and they landed on the last name Gilligan. So it could have been called Smith's, Jones's, Guadalupe's. Didn't matter. Wow. And did you know every character on Gilligan's Island had a full first name and last name, but only a couple of them, they never mentioned the whole name on air. Huh. And the Coast Guard got repeated phone calls from people asking them if they would try to go out and help find these poor people stranded on an island. Now that's <laughs> sad right there. Let me tell you, that is sad. Well, that doesn't surprise me because people honestly believe that half of TV is, is real. I mean, I've heard soap opera characters say that they've actually, you know, had people slap them and stuff because, you know, they didn't like their character. Now I'm going to take the, uh, the other stickles. It's not color. And just do a little bit of this stuff up here. And I might not just kind of more rub it on than I am going to put it on. Come on. Just to give it a little sparkle around the edge. And, you know, mixed media, honestly, all it is is I always say that mixed media is nothing more than I get to play with a lot of different um, items. So, you know, do what you feel comfortable with. Use your stuff that you already have in your um, stash. If you were a scrapbooker, you have tons of stuff in your stash that can be used for mixed media. Um, look how pretty that is. God, I like that. Okay, I think I'm liking this. What time are we? Oh, we almost an hour. I think I like that. What do you think, guys? You think I should end it right there? Probably have to now because I have uh, stickles wet everywhere. Let me go up close, show you. Look at how cute the little dandelions are. And those those pretty flowers up on top. Love that. And then here's my girl. Sue, Susan just ordered your Terry set inhale from Sin City. Oh, good. That's now, a pretty set, too. We could get her on the mic. We could do the whole shopping thing like, Susan, you're on the air. Now tell me, why did you order that set? Is this your first moon ordering? I actually plan on using that set next week. I already have her out. I've already started a page that I'm going to do and use the little fairy in that set. Oh, I, so you just had to have it. I did. <laughs> like now, I have, you purchased from, have you purchased from us before? <laughs> we and could do a whole home shopping spinoff. Hopefully you day. use the coupon also. Good. Okay, so that's my page. Um, anybody got any questions? I'm really happy with that. And also, if you want to learn um, how to make your own journal, I actually um, teach, I have a, a class on there that's all about how to make your own journal. I took this exact same design, well, not exact same design, same stamps, and did the cover of a journal that I'm going to do, because I'm going to have multiples going, so this is kind of almost the same page that I did tonight, because I was playing earlier. I'm going to have multiple journals going, so that's what I'm doing. I'm pretty happy with that, too. Okay, I'm going to switch cameras. The woman. I'm not sure what Lindy over on YouTube is asking the woman. No, oh, that's the name of the movie, The Women. Oh, The and Woman. And Daniela, you knew about their name. She said they would say, and the rest, instead of the professor and Marianne in the early episode. Yeah, and then they finally changed the uh, the, the thing the the beginning, and they actually put Mary um, 
Professor Anne, Mary Anne, here on Gilligan's Isle. See, I know the damn song. How long was the cruise? <laughs> three hours. Oh, you're so good. For a three-hour tour. I told you I know the song. <laughs> but you really don't want to hear lead. me sing. <laughs> I'll really post a link about all these little unknown facts. That's cool because I'd like to hear that. Well, guys, I'm going to let you go because we are recording this live and nobody wants to watch this part at the end. So I want to thank you for joining me. Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, join my group called All Things Terry Sproul on Facebook and see you again next Tuesday.